All right, we're going to keep the show going, man. Coming to the stage right now. This dude wanted to make sure that I got his introduction absolutely correct, okay? As if it's not obvious already. Yeah. This is the whitest guy in Greensboro. Coming to the stage right now, Eric Robertson. Come on up, Eric. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. My name is Eric Robertson. You can call me the Cracker Spectacular. <laughs> I'm being the first to be the token white guy here tonight. I was excited. It's always been my dream to roast somebody both talented and famous. And until that happens, I get to practice on the beat <laughs> You know, you're a very special guy. I haven't really known you for that long, but in the short time that I have, you've taught me a lot about the African-American culture. <laughs> he introduced me to a product called Cocoa Butter. <laughs> I actually got an opportunity to try it last week, and I gotta tell you, man, I didn't really like it. Maybe my waffles taste like shit. <laughs> Tell me about a lot about the hip hop culture as well. He told me all about the uh, Chris Brown and Rihanna situation. I went home and I googled it myself. I actually came across an old interview with Rihanna back when she was still dating Chris Brown. And I gotta tell you, after watching, ladies and gentlemen, I really think that whole time that poor girl was trying to cry out for help. But we, the public, just didn't understand what she was trying to tell us. The interviewer asked her, So, Rihanna, tell us, what does Chris Brown like to do in his spare time? I don't know. Beats me. <laughs> but I want to take a moment here and just thank the Lord for bringing everybody out here this evening to support me, God. Praise white Jesus. <laughs> Believe it or not, me and you I actually got into an argument about this the other day. He said, Eric, how do you know? How do you know for a fact that Jesus was white? I don't. I just have faith. <laughs> but Thomas said, look at it like this. When you go to Catholic communion and the priest says the body of Christ broken for you, what does he hand you? A cracker. There you go. <laughs> matter what color Jesus wants, ladies and gentlemen, because now Christians of all races are coming together in a rainbow coalition against gay marriage. To prove to everyone, it doesn't matter what your ethnicity is in this nation, just so long as you're not gay. You see, before this age to think that black men were more homophobic than white men, but it turns out it's just not true. White men are just as homophobic, but it just depends upon location. For example, black men are more homophobic than white men in public. And white men are more homophobic than black men in prison. <laughs> because we know how much black men love some white bitches. <laughs> Ladies, can you feel me? <laughs> this is why if I ever went to prison, I would join the Aryan Brotherhood. Not because I'm racist, but because this way, if one of my white brothers decides to rape me, at least I'll know that he won't have as big of a dick. <laughs> if there was an Asian game, I would join that one. <laughs> the other day I was talking to Pete Don about what he used to do before he joined, uh, before he got into the radio business. And one of the many jobs he used to have was at McDonald's. And I asked him, I said, why does McDonald's advertise so hardcore to the African American community? And he told me because, Eric, Bojangles and KFC just don't have to. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> but it got me thinking, you know? I mean, white people, we love chicken, too. I mean, let's face it. If white people didn't love chicken, well, then Chick-fil-A just wouldn't be in business, now would it? <laughs> Overpriced white meat. <laughs> 
with their mascots, those talking cows. What do they say, huh? Eat more chicken. You know they're talking to white people. <laughs> because if they were talking to black people, that sentence would end with a question mark. Eat more chicken? Ridiculous about Chick fil A D. Is that they're closed on Sundays. Nah, no. Anybody ever been up there on a Sunday before? You know, you get all pissed off and you get up there. Yeah, your heart's in a number one combo, you know? Just to get up here and discover that the speaker's bad. You get all pissed off, you start yelling at it. Hey, cows! Who's utter do I have to suck to get some freaking waffle fries around here? You know what? It's fine, Chick fil A. It's fine. You don't take my ass down to church's chicken. Thank God churches are open on Sundays. <laughs> now, before I get out of here, I just want to let you know, Vida, from the bottom of my heart, I think you're a very talented guy. I think you're very hilarious. I think you've got what it takes to make it as far as you want to in this business. Not shucks, Steve God. I guess what I'm trying to say, the best son of God, by, by a Michael Vick quote. I got a lot of money on you, dog. <laughs> Eric Robertson, y'all, give him a round of applause. It was pretty funny, right? Y'all thought about not laughing when he started that chicken shit, though, did you? <laughs> I saw Av reach in a purse like that. I said, show him play that, man. Show him play the racist jokes, man. You better get to your car quick, homie.